We're back. I know you missed 50 zips. We're back and we are going to Vermontville, Michigan this morning to run the 5k in their maple syrup festival. Happens at the end of April every year since like 1940. We're going to be a part of it. So come and watch us. And um, next week we are going to be in Estes Park. So you should watch us. We're doing the duck bottle. So watch our video today like us and then become a friend to us on YouTube. Enjoy the video. We're back. We all finished really well today. It was a very hilly race. Look at that. You have to come up the hill to the finish line. Oh my gosh. But you know what? I think it's all worth it for the syrup that you get at the end. Well, we found the Pure Michigan Maple Syrup Cream and Sugar Benedict Maple Family, Benedict Family Maple. And awesome, we got some nuts. And then we got these little miniatures. We found this gigantic tank. Dave's standing by it in Vermontville. It seems like it's just parked here, right? downtown by the maple syrup. V12, 1250 horsepower. Yeah, it's a pretty incredible thing. Yeah, it's huge. We, we both placed in our categories. So, <laughs> Tammy won first. I don't know. People. There weren't a whole lot of people, but yeah. she got first place and I got second place. So we're back. So we're back. We, in the I won't tell you range. how many people were in my age range, <laughs> but I got second place. Woo! Type stuff and welding, and then they have a company here called Wilson Sugar Brush. Great bottles, and they're selling uh, maple syrup. And we we're going to this way. And we we're going to ask Matt about what does it take to make maple syrup for your syrup? So we have a 24 acre woods that has 1,300 trees in it. There's about seven miles of tubing that connects all those trees together, drains all the sap from that tube to one tank. We haul it from that tank up to our uh, sugar bush where we boil it. And this year we, it was about 55 gallons of sap to make a gallon of syrup. And so we boil it, uh, that's literally all you do to it. It comes off at about 217 degrees. And then uh, it goes, you filter it, and then it goes right into a jar. And that's what we have here. So we've got glass and plastic containers we use. Our glass this year has golden syrup in it, which is the lightest grade syrup. And then our plastic all has amber syrup in it, which is a little bit darker. Um, more similar to what you would see most of the time. Amber seems to be the most common grade that's made. There's also a dark and a very dark, um, which usually you see for like baking and things like that. They say the darker the syrup, the stronger the maple flavor is. And that's kind of what we find, like lighter syrup taste more sweet than maple leaf and dark syrup will taste more maple leaf and sweet. So and how, how long have you been doing this with the uh, so, um, my wife's family was one of the founding maple producers that started this. Uh, they've actually the woods that we tap now, we started tapping, her family started tapping in 1937. Wow. So you're, you're getting on 100 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you've, got, you've got trees in this woods that her uh, great, great grandfather tapped. So, wow. Yeah, so it's hey, a family thing. Hey, thanks a lot. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah, we didn't have pancakes this morning, but that's because there was a giant line for the pancakes. I still haven't got pancakes. No. Maple Valley. Well, I don't know if these guys are looking for maple syrup. They might be. They're surprised. 
Franklin. Maybe looking for the maple syrup, but they're at the festival. We're gonna try our maple syrup lattes that we got. That'll be fun. Everything is maple syrup. We have some cotton candy that we got from a booth. So that'll be fun to eat. Try that.